Welcome back to Kabiga's Reviews. And I must say, it certainly seems like I've got the unboxing bug. Because here's another one. This is something that I am uh, very excited about. I uh, grew up in the 80s and my eight-year-old self that's in here is very, very excited about something that's in this box. Uh, I'm really, really hoping that it lives up to my expectations, um, but I guess we'll see. Uh, there are two items in here. Uh, hopefully this video won't be too long, um, but uh, let's go. So, always be careful with scissors. I say this every time. So just go steady with yourselves. Okay. Try and tear this open. Uh, these are basically um, collectible editions for my studio slash room slash whatever you want to call it. Uh, because although I have a lot of uh, weapons and uh, replicas and such, as you can see behind me, I don't want it to just be weapons and replicas. I don't want just swords and I don't want just you know, models and figures and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with them, but I want a variety, that's all. So for me, it, that's what it's about. It's about having a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you know? Um, so that's this box. God, I don't have to make it out to open. Oh my goodness me. So here we are, right? The first one I'm going to open, these are Jada, they're called Hollywood Rides, uh, made by Jada or Jada, or I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce uh, the name, but these are two movie vehicles, okay? So we've got the Tumblr uh, from The Dark Knight, and it includes a, uh, a Batman figure to stand next to it. And we have, this is the one my eight-year-old self is really excited about, Kit. The Night Industries 2000. I would have absolutely killed for a toy or a model of this when I was younger and I finally had one. So let's get rid of that box and we'll put both of those there just to show you. Now, they come in these fantastic and really nice looking um, display boxes. I'm almost loath to open them, to be fair. Um, not sure I actually want to. These, these look fantastic. Um, so yeah, there's uh, the tumbler and Kit, shall I put my finger in here? Ooh, look, there's Kit. Oh my goodness me. The detail on this is amazing so right then there they are uh, I, I'll be honest with you I'm really really struggling with the idea of opening these bad boys um, and I think what I might do is just leave them as they are for now and uh, open them on another video maybe when I get the courage up to do so these are absolutely stunning. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave them as they are for now. Uh, and I'll give you some close-ups of them. They are. I just, I can't get over them. Actually, they are absolutely amazing. The detail on them is just stunning. And they're heavy as well, the die-cast metal. Wow. All right. So that's those two. The Tumblr and Batman and Kit from Knight Rider. What I will say about Kit, actually, you know, anybody who's watched Knight Rider will know that Kit had a sunroof, okay? This sunroof, you can see through it. So it is actually genuinely a sunroof and the dashboard, yep, it's there. Okay, so we'll leave that there for now and we'll come back to these a little bit later. Okay, after some careful thoughts and consideration and some time has passed, I've thought about it and 
I think I have to agree with some geeks of the world that these have to be opened. These have to be touched and they have to be um, looked at and examined, uh, really. Um, so if, if that kind of thing offends you and upsets you, please look away now, all right? These are going to be in very, very good condition and I will look after them, but they won't be mint because I am going to unbox them. I am going to open them. So here we go. So we'll leave uh, Knight Rider for now. And we will start with Batman's Tumblr from The Dark Knight and Batman Begins. What's that? Another Tumblr? Oh, you wouldn't be interested in that. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. Once again, careful with scissors. We'll cut the little tape. Um, and what I want to say before I go any further is that these boxes are great. Uh, they are really nicely uh, made and they're solid as well. And they've got some great detailing on the back. So what I'll do is I'll put uh, some clips up um, alongside this video showing some close-ups of these boxes okay here we go or as the joker would say here we go okay that's enough of my impressions for now uh probably forever oh it's taped here as well you see it's got a little bit of tape there to stop it going anywhere that's uh, a bit of overkill but maybe they don't want us to open them all right so There we go. We'll take the tumbler out. Put the box down there. I think this tumbler can actually sit. Oh goodness me, look, it opens as well. Right. I must say, there's a bit of paperwork under here and it's actually well secured. There's some weight to this, some real weight to that. Um, you can tell it's die cast metal, I suppose that's what it is. Okay, uh, this is a lot of writing, so I'm not going to read that. Um, yeah, right, okay. So, there you go. I'm actually touching it. Oh, the wheels go round, <laughs> as you would expect on a vehicle. Right, I want to try and open this in such a way that it doesn't actually damage the box. Okay, all right, okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Okay, so you cut the tape there. Very carefully. Where's it taped? No, no, no it's not taped, it's tucked under. Right. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. We get in there. We get in there. Wow, this is something else. That is really, really something else. Um, yeah. <laughs> who knew? I'm gonna need a screwdriver. Okay. Let's uh, come back to that. Well, in great TV tradition, here's one I uh, unscrewed earlier. Okay, so there's the tumbler. I'm going to uh, leave Batman where he is, to be fair, because my focus is this absolute menace. Oh my God, look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like a kid again. I swear to God, this thing is epic. And I tell you what, the detailing, it moves really well. It weighs quite a lot, actually. I'm going to uh, cut this uh, plastic off here. Uh, some tape that holds the uh, canopy down because I believe, yep, 
there you go, it actually opens up. And once uh, I can uh, give you some proper close-ups of this, which you will get, uh, I'll, I'll be able to show you inside. You've got the little steering wheel here, all the little uh, gears and stuff, the seat where Batman would sit. Um, it looks really, really good. Really, really amazing. Okay, so there's the tumbler from Batman Begins and The Dark Knight, uh, which becomes the Bat Cycle, I suppose, towards the end of The Dark Knight. All right, so there we go. Unboxed one tumbler. Okay, so here we come to Hollywood ride number two, the Jada Knight Rider kit, or kit from Knight Rider, I should say. So much like the tumbler that we've just unboxed, I'm gonna go real easy on this. If this is gonna break your heart, uh, well, sorry about that, but yeah. Okay, here we go. This, as I said uh, earlier, this is one that I am super excited about. I remember as, uh, as a youngster, I did have uh, a toy kit, a uh, Knight Rider remote control car, and uh, it was the noisiest thing. If I remember correctly, I actually, I don't wanna say broke it, uh, but I definitely preferred to play with it without the, cables and all that sort of thing because it was just so much better um, as just a car rather than a remote control thing. So there's Kit. Before I take him off his plinth because he's going to need unscrewing again like the other one did, I'm going to show you this. Close the door and the scanner goes. How cool is that? What 80s kid wouldn't want that? Back in a minute. Okay, so now that we've unscrewed Kit, let's put him here. What an absolutely beautiful machine that is. A little spring here. Okay, so. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm really liking that. <laughs> I swear, honestly. I cannot tell you how happy I am with this this um, this particular vehicle. I'm not going to cut that. I'm going to peel it off because 
don't want to risk damaging anything. I know Kit has a molecular bonded shell and he can bash through walls and everything, but you know, I don't want to scratch him with a pair of scissors. All right, so bear with me. The, under, the detailing underneath is pretty good as well. I like the treads on the tires. I must admit, they've, these are really, really high quality. They, I mean, I suppose technically they are toys, you know, uh, but they're really collectible. I don't want to say figures because they're not figures, but the vehicles, collectible vehicles, I suppose. Look at the shine on that. That is outstanding. All right. Does the passenger door open? Yep. Both doors open. Oh, wow. Okay. I, bet, I believe the bonnet opens as well, I think. The back doors because it's already open. Uh, let's take this bonnet up. Yep, definitely open. And it all metal this. So it's really cool. That's a bit stiff, but that's all right. You don't want it to be willy-nilly uh, open. Look at that. Move the door and the scanner goes. All right, so there we go. There is kit unboxed. Let's bring the tumbler back down. All right, and Batman's tumbler. Let's open this up because you can, you can open the front here and get hold of it. There we go. All right, so we have the Night Industries 2000 and Batman's tumbler. These are Jada. Jada, I think. Personally, I think it's Jada. If it's not, I do apologize, but I think that's what I'm going to go with. The Jada, Hollywood Rides, Knight Rider, and Tumblr. Unboxed in all their glory. Let's put the scanner back on. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, drop us a like and subscribe to see all future content.